Well, we have Tucker, and he's an Airedale Terrier, um, and he is headstrong. And I don't think I was quite prepared for that. Uh, from the, literally the day we got him home, um, I realized that I was totally overwhelmed. Because what I noticed right away with Tucker was that he was a much more, I, I want to use the word belligerent, okay, than a dog that I, that I had ever had a chance to be around personally. And I realized I was over my head. This is a dominant dog. He's the leader of the pack. You need to take him down. <laughs> take him down, you know. Um, and so we tried those methods of taking him down. And um, finally, after about two weeks, brought him to a trainer that was in the Yellow Pages. And um, and her philosophy again was, this he's from a wolf pack. He is an extremely strong personality. You are going to need to let him know who is the boss. He still didn't obey me and he didn't obey my husband and when I would try to do that I would literally have to wear full, I mean like leathers because he would bite through my le leather gloves. He was biting so hard. So it wasn't a good situation. I was feeling awful about it and I knew that I needed to find some other way to do to, to get him to just do what he needs to do. The minute we um, met with our with our trainer, um, Laura, her whole attitude about training was different. What I really found that I liked was she said, let's get off the whole dominance thing. Because, and I realized immediately when she said that, you know, that uh, that's the way I was looking at my dog. Everything was about I needed to get control of him. I just remember feeling this thing, fall, this, this weight fall off of me, and I now felt like, wait a minute, I've got a normal dog. She's just going to show me some behaviors or some training things to get his behavior in line with what I'm, I want. Well, I took him to his first uh, actual grooming session uh, last night. The groomer did spend some time telling me what the issues were so that I would know what to work on with him. When she uh, first got him hooked up, he almost choked himself to death for 10 minutes trying to pull himself down on that to the point where he was about throwing up. He would mouth her hands. Then when that didn't work, he went to forcibly biting her, uh, her hands. When that didn't work, he went to screaming and biting, and that didn't work. And then he went to lunging at her and trying to get at her sleeves and whatever. Um, so she said he does definitely need work in that area. Okay, we're gonna start getting him used to just being up here. His last experience, on the groom table was probably not We started simply by clicking Tucker for being calm and relaxed in the middle of the grooming table. So I'm gonna run my hand down his paw. Good. So just reward every reward letting me handle his feet. Got this last night. Let's just make his oh. so if he if he pulls back, if he gives me something less than I'm thrilled with, I just don't click that. You get your foot back, but you also don't get a cookie for that one. The release of the paw is also a reinforcement for Tucker, but by keeping the training session so relaxed, the relief from the release of his paw is relatively minor compared to the disappointment at the lack of a click and a bit of liver. And because because he's a participant here, he's not a victim, nobody's doing this to him, he's choosing to let me have his paw, he's got no reason to fight it. You know, it's, it, this was his idea in the first place. Good puppy! Soon, Tucker is voluntarily lifting his paw, and in a few moments, I've begun handling the paw he's chosen to offer me. Good job! All right! Good. So now, I mean, this is obviously a relaxed dog. This is a dog, he's, he is not uptight about being on the grooming table in the least. Handling his toes, touching his nails into A lot of dogs have already had some excitement associated with this whole nail trim process. I want to get rid of that. I don't want any emotion connected to this when we start. So I like to start with something really neutral as opposed to a pair of nail trimmers, which can excite a lot of emotional response in some dogs. Um, so this is a ballpoint pen, totally, totally neutral. By this point in our training, Tucker has absolutely no problem accepting an object touching his paw. Go ahead. It's no big deal. I'll do it. I, can, I can wait until you can sit still for the click. As the training progresses, Tucker experiments with just how still he must sit during the handling. He looks at the treat bag. Where's my treat for that? Don't, I didn't, you didn't click. Did you miss it? Good. 
Good. That time, no problem. Good. What I'm doing now, and it takes a little bit longer and it's a little more irritating to the dog, but I'm actually sliding his nail into this little gap in your nerdy pocket protector pen clip. Um, just so he gets the feeling of me fiddling with his nail a little bit more. He's got to tolerate a little bit more to get his click, but it's still his choice whether or not he's doing this. Okay, there's some toenails. Good job. Totally blase, no big deal. Situate myself as if we were to do a trip. Oh my gosh, we just figured into something. So, no click, let him figure this out. Oh yeah, this was my idea. I'm kind of in charge of this, I can lift through it. Half an hour is a long time for a young dog to sit still, so we gave Tucker a five minute toilet and wiggle break and then brought him back. He picked up right where we left off, letting me place the trimmers over his nails. And then, less than 45 minutes after we'd started, Tucker sat quietly while I trimmed the tips of his nails. When I'm watching him perk his ears up and listen um, and think things through, and for him to sit there and use his little mind to figure out what it is he needs to do to get the result he wants, it is very fulfilling. I get to watch his intelligence in action and it's not me forcing him to do something. So I have definitely noticed a huge improvement in his behavior as well as, I think, my relationship with him. I saw that. Oh, you don't have to admit that you saw it. I did too. <sighs> It'll be gone as soon as I get that tape. <laughs>